Holga week, and I don't have a Holga. For those who don't know, Holgas are those cheap plastic toy cameras. That I do have my own little plastic fantastic, the Asiana uh, Diana clone, a true hunk of crap. So I decided to go out, and it didn't go as planned. I'm here downtown. I'm tired. It's right after work. I just want to go home, but I'm going to try to shoot uh, 12 shots of black and white film. Let's see how it goes. We are now halfway through the roll and it's possibly too bright or too dark for it. I don't really know, but we're gonna, we're going for it, you know, halfway through. It was on this trip, kind of like this. That looks like one actually. And that's uh, how it goes. So this is what happened. I got exposures, so that's good. But you'll see that streak across everything. And since I can tell what was right side up on this, you can't really see it on the video, but there are certain pictures. I know the orientations of them. So I know how it was shot. So this is the bottom of the frame, which inside of a camera means it is the top of the camera. So that told me my leak was in the top of the camera. Now there's a bad streak down here, which tells me there might be some uh, leak along the bottom of the camera that I need to look at, but that's especially egregious in the top of the... Just like with four by five cameras and bellows and stuff, when you get one of these uh, cheapo toy cameras, it can be good to look for light leaks. You hold, you can shine lights in it, or you can hold it up to lights. See if I can, there we go. See that right there? That's my culprit. So what do you do on these uh, crappy cameras? I'm going to tear it down the size here and try to figure out how to get this on here. And be careful that it won't block the path to the film. That roll didn't work out because of a light leak. So I'm taking this out again. Taped up a lot more. And the audio is probably ruined for the wind here. What I'm looking for right now are shadows and uh, things that look good graphically because it's so bright and backlit. Reshoots are a way of life in photography and you just should get used to it and film is really good at teaching you about reshoots. So after the light leak disaster of the first roll, I went out the next day and I shot a proper roll of 16 frames. I didn't know what to expect still, I, I sealed the heck out of it, but as you'll see some stuff still got through. But that's the charm with these cameras. These cameras are made... Uh, very cheaply and they were intended for tourists in poverty-stricken countries. They look like it, but what's neat is they kind of counterbalance some of their crappiness with having medium format film, a larger frame. 
So it's plast a plastic lens, but you get an unusual amount of detail. And even on these um, probably four and a half by four and a half centimeter uh, frames, that's a slight crop of the six centimeter normal medium format frame. It, it gets a lot of a, a lot of detail and some neat looks in there. And I had one accidental double exposure. I shot 16 frames in about mm, 20 minutes. I intentionally kept that pace. Also, I'm trying to remind myself that film is precious, but one of the reasons you shoot with this is to make it less precious, to let your mind go more, and then you can truly take a deeper advantage of the film the film thing, which is uh, that you have to think a lot more, but also trust a lot more. Uh, look at centering compositions and arranging things geometrically and it's kind of tough when there's such a uh, parallax between the viewfinder and the lens you don't see what you get on like a, an SLR or a mirrorless camera these are phone scans by the way uh, I just took a picture of the negative and inverted it in Lightroom very minimal processing I might do true scans of these but it felt properly lo-fi You'll notice a notch at the tops of all of these frames and at first I thought it was something inside the camera scraping them but what it was is a stray piece of gaffer's tape from my masking or from my um, blockage of light leaks. So I kind of think it works pretty well. There's still a, a really bright strip across the bottom of everything and I'm not completely sure where that's coming from still. It might be from the lens or it might be a gap on the front that I thought had taken care of. Perhaps it's the viewfinder itself. I'll just have to keep plugging holes and figuring it out, but I think it looks pretty cool, which is why I didn't crop these at all. And by the way, this is Kilgore, Texas, my old hometown. I, uh, I also really like taking pictures of these grass and this grass and weeds and stuff with medium format cameras because it just and black and white film I might add this is Ilford Delta 100 and I, I really like taking pictures of all of that because it just renders so finely and it just looks like a uh, angel hair or something I don't know that's that's my personal, like, my mental shorthand for it. And this is just a variety of pictures I took because I didn't document the entire stroll around town. It was about 20 minutes, but drone batteries don't last that long, and I'm a total rookie. But still, it was fun, and I really enjoyed it. And I hope you enjoy looking at this entire roll of film, by the way. Uh, everything, including the unintentional double exposure, which I actually really dig because of the grass effect on the open sky. And I did not expect to enjoy it. I, I'm technically giving this thing away still, although I'm really worried it's maybe too crappy to give away. So if you've entered and you're still interested in it, let me know and let me know if maybe you would interest, be interested in maybe some expired film or like a $20 gift certificate or something. I am at number 568 right now which is super cool i'm really excited we're getting down to the final 32 people until i have 600 followers as a result of the sun streaked roll of film i went out uh this is deadline day so to speak and did all of this so this whole episode almost except for a little bit happened tonight so i, I really need to get this edited because i have to wake up early for work tomorrow i'd like to thank my patrons uh, listed uh, somewhere around here for their support. Uh, the monthly print club num print number two comes out within about a week or so. I'm trying to give a little space, but in, I want it in time for Halloween too because it's kind of a spoopy theme. So you can keep an eye out for that. If you'd like to get your own, you've got time to join the Patreon. Please subscribe and turn on notifications if you like these behind the scenes videos that mix analog and digital and philosophy and technique. And I'll try to keep, you know, finding my own groove and hopefully you'll enjoy it with me. Don't forget to like the video if you enjoy it. It really helps a lot. I appreciate it. And I will see you next week. Bye.